Good morning. Pray you're having a good morning as you enjoy your cup of coffee. And let's take a look at together at John uh, chapter 8, verse 36. If the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. During the national observance of the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor, I was struck by the great emphasis uh, on the number of immigrants by, who had, uh, had often left everything behind, coming to America with nothing but the clothes on their back. They risked their lives for something they valued more highly than everything they had left behind. That was freedom. They did not take their adopted country's hard-won freedom for granted, and neither must we. Their experience is a picture of of what we must do when we come to Christ. We must forsake our allegiance to this world, leave behind all that it offers, and become citizens of a new kingdom, the kingdom of God. His statue of liberty is, is the form of the cross. The statue in the New York Harbor lifts her lamp beside the golden door. The statue of liberty on the, that hillside outside Jerusalem lights the way into eternal life. I pray that you've been set free and you're on your way to eternal life.